Hey guys, Richard Official Nato Channel and Reefs.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have found something that I really dislike in my aquarium and it is Aptasia. And to take care of this nuisance that everybody probably hates, I am going to do this in a natural way without any, any kind of chemicals or etc. I am going to find a natural predator that eats this and I'm going to enlist help of my good friends at Bayard Aquariums and see what they got. I just wanted to give a fair warning. Over there they have tons of fans and tons of pumps constantly running and noise level even despite using a separate lavalier mics you're gonna pick up a whole bunch of ambient noise. Please keep that in mind and be gentle. So let's with that said let's go check out what they got. All right, Jake, how's it going? Good, how about you? Good, good. So tell me, you guys have the ultimate solution for Aptasia control, right? <laughs> I like think so. Yeah? What are the few options that you guys offer here in Biota? Uh, so we got Aptasia files. Uh, mm -hmm. These guys are awesome. We feed them Aptasia here and at the facility in Palau. Uh, peppermint shrimp, they're uh, known to eat tons of various Aptasia, not Mahanas, but generally any kind of uh, nuisance and anemone. Um, what else we got here? I think Todd was breeding some peppermints up in North Carolina yeah, as well, right? Todd's breeding peppermints, pepper and shrimp in uh, North Carolina. Yeah. Um, the word of money specifically. Gotcha. Um, Let's, do you have any of them here that we could take a look? Yeah, we got some over there. Let's go. So Jake, tell me about these peppermint shrimps. Yeah, so these are like Lata Wormani. Uh, there's a few different species of peppermint shrimp in the industry. The majority of them come from uh, the Caribbean. Yeah. Uh, you'll see Jundalini, you'll see uh, Burgessi. Um, a couple of those species um, throughout the uh, ocean that make their way to the aquarium trade. We kind of honed in on Wormani just because they are present up to uh, a bit of the east coast where Todd is in North Carolina. Right. So we can collect some root stock and uh, keep making new generations. Um, and also they're great at eating Aptasia. So Todd actually collects uh, some wild Aptasia in North Carolina um, to help feed them, keep them hungry, making sure that when they get to your tanks, they're also still hungry for Aptasia. Right. Um, even at our facility, whenever we get some mariculture, um, or even sometimes our in-house aquaculture has some Aptasia on it, we usually throw them into these tanks, mm -hmm. um, give them light, nice little cleanup. There's a couple of anthids in there right now, actually, that they, they probably went through, picked out all the uh, Aptasia, and yeah. then we can actually sell it right afterwards. They typically come out at night um, while the Aptasia files work during the day. Um, yeah. so kind of hit the Aptasia at full time for the day. Yeah. Um, really nice and it really helps eradicate them a little bit faster. Um, I've also found that a lot of times the uh, Aptasia files, mm -hmm. they'll nip at them and kind of uh, irritate them and then the peppermints come in later and usually clean them out. Oh nice. Now I know that you guys have some good file fish over here, let's go check them out as well. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, so Jig, we got the file fish over here. Personally, these are my favorite because once I'm done with them, I could easily take these out. Yeah, they're not the, uh, the best swimmers. Um, they sometimes will wedge themselves in a rock almost like a trigger fish. Yeah. Um, but typically to catch them, they're usually kind of out in the open and they're pretty easy to catch. Even uh, we actually recommend people buy these and put them in their tanks uh, to turn off like the wave makers, mm -hmm. um, power heads on the side, just because they really aren't great swimmers. And yeah. when they're hit with a new current, they may not uh, get out of it too quickly. Yeah. So we do recommend more adding uh, New app, new app data files to your tank to uh, turn off the power heads, put them in there. But if you gotta catch them out later, put them in a fish only or another sump or something like that. Uh, yeah, you can take them out pretty quickly. Nice. So you got some over here. Tell me about these. Are these from Caribbean uh, as well, or these are from Palau? Um, Palau. So the, all the data files are, are bred in Palau um, that we have. Um, they're same tomentosis species as the ones found elsewhere. Um, but we found that uh, this is probably the best species that are at eradicating uh, Aptasia. Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. And then it's like same thing like with the peppermint shrimps. If you were to look for this, then you could find them online or you could find them at your online stores. Yep, on our site or we sell to hundreds of stores around the country. Gotcha, gotcha.
So any tips or advice in regards to this fish? Yeah, I mean, they're not obligated like Aptasia eaters, um, so they'll eat other stuff in your aquarium. Uh, we feed them pellet frozen, a ton of different stuff here, mastic, um, and uh, they do really well on that. So even after they do eradicate your Aptasia problem, um, they should be able to stay in your tank for years to come. Um, they're really cool fish, they camouflage super well, they end up being pretty personable um, once they know who's feeding them, that comes right, right up in front of the tank. Um, so they're definitely uh, not just for cleaning Aptasia, they're also a pretty cool fish too. Awesome. All right, let's get one of those and then get going. All right. All right, guys. So with that said, I went and picked up the file fish right here from Biota Aquarium and I'm going to put it into my tank. Wish me luck on how things go and let me know what you guys think. If you would have put in peppermint or file fish or a combination of both. I personally picked file fish over the shrimp because they're much easier to remove down the line should they have learned to eat corals. I mean, it's it's it can definitely happen. It's good to have a backup plan just in case of for things like this. For me, this was much easier to take care of than trying to get shrimps out of the rocks. So let me know what you think about down in, in the comment below and I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.